absolutely marvellous. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a lovely special video on Lycan, the overpowered hero of the Divine Bracket meta, and how you, whatever your skill bracket, can learn to exploit his power. Um, I have with me today Primate. Hi Primate. Hello guys, what's up? And he is going to give us the lowdown on how this hero works. So, first and foremost, let's start on uh, why is Lycan so dominant in the Divine Immortal brackets? You know, wh what is it about this hero that makes him so good, so strong? Uh, so, in my opinion, right now Lycan is pretty strong uh, because of the way that hero works. Uh, like, Lycan is a pushing hero. In this, uh, at least in Divine Bracket, there are a lot of games that are finishing in 25-30 minutes. Yeah. And if you pick the proper heroes, like let's say you get a Shadow Shaman, a Jakiro, a Nature's Prophet, something like that. Uh, even Visage. Uh, with Lycan is pretty strong, and if the enemy doesn't have a certain lineup to defend against Lycan, they are going to have a hard time winning the game. Because Lycan is just going to come at, with every cooldown from Necro. He's gonna take towers, or he's gonna take objectives like Roshan, and after that, like the game is gonna be over. Like in, you you don't even realize that the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. So like a rapid push strategy, and that's why he's winning so many yeah. games. Okay, exactly. That's great. Very pre pre very prevalent in the high skill brackets. Okay, great. So so, so so let's break him down. Let's break him down. So how how are people playing Lycan? Talk to me about itemization, ability builds, that kind of thing. Okay, so I saw there are two Lycan players in the Immortal bracket that I know. They have uh, a lot, they have like 500 games of Lycan. What I see that they are doing, they are going for uh, High Helm of the Dominator, first item, without boots, without anything. Like, they just wow. get starting items. They go for Stout Shield and Regen and they just buy uh, Helm of the Dominator. They get a creep from jungle, usually a Centaur or a troll, because yeah. you have want to have lockdown for heroes. And yeah. with the first it ultimate, they go and gank mid. For example, and if the hero is gankable, they kill me with the hero with the first ultimate. Wow. And after that, uh, the plan is to buy Necro. You can buy boots if you want. You can, it not necessarily. Only you can buy boots. You cannot. It, it's like fine. Yeah. And after that, you want to get uh, Necronomicon uh, level three. Yeah. So the plan is like this: with every single ultimate that you have, you want to use it at cooldown and take, do something on the map. You want to keep your tempo. You want to um, take objectives. You want to kill heroes. You want to take good fights. Yeah. So basically, that's 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 the hero. You don't want to go into late game because Lycan is not that strong into late game. Yeah. Uh, but in the early game and towards the mid game, he's extremely strong because usually you don't have the heroes to fight him or yeah. to kill his necros, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's about it. The hero. You just go dominator into brown boots into necro tree, and after that, if you need if you need like BKB or assault cuirass, you go for them. But usually, you can finish the game with necro tree sometimes. Okay, great. And so, so this is every time his ultimate is off cooldown, you activate it, and you either kill somebody or get a tower, basically. Exactly. You want to do something on the map. Usually, you kill a hero and after that, push a tower. Okay, cool. And then, in terms of leveling ability wise, what should we, what should people be prioritizing? Oh, uh, so uh, usually, you want to max first skill. You want to max the wolves, wolves and yeah. the feral impulse, the yeah. third spell. And uh, I saw that these guys are taking at level eight or nine, sometimes one point in the howl. Okay. Because Howl now, after the changes, it gives you attack speed and you can use it to kill the hero really fast in the ultimate or take a tower really fast. One point, it's enough, yeah. but you max first and third. First and third, yeah, okay, great, fine. And obviously, yeah. always get your ultimate whenever you get your ultimate, so. Of right. course. Okay, Obvious. cool. So, um, why, so what's very interesting about Lycan currently is, in the high skill brackets, he is dominant, he's the easily winning all games, but then as you work your way down into the lower skill brackets, you know, sort of, Herald, Crusader, Archon levels, the hero is, is actually pretty bad or not performing particularly well. So, so explain to us why, why is Lycan a challenge for lower skill players to, to play? So, from my perspective, I can see two reasons, two main reasons that uh, like you can, uh, that are uh, making this thing to happen. Yeah. So, first is the micro skill. Uh, Lycan, Lycan is a hero that you have a lot of units. You have two wolves, you have two necros, and you have a creep from jungle. So, that's like plus the hero, that's like six units. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard for uh, players that are maybe in lower, into, into a lower bracket to control the units well enough. It's like harder for them to 
do the micro stuff uh, yeah. and lycan in that's a really part of the lycan because in a lot of situations you want to send the center in front to stun the heroes and after that you come back with the other units and stuff like this yeah. so that's a it affects the win rate for sure. Yeah. And the other thing, the second one, it would be the team communication. In lower yeah. skill bracket, it's harder to uh, communicate with your teammates, to be all five on the same page, to push the tower or mm. to take an objective. You, you, usually everybody's on their own page. They focus on farming yeah. or doing random stuff on the map. And nobody, there's nobody there to be like, let's say, Papi from Siki to tell, now we do this or now we do that or yeah. now we do that. Yeah. Like, you need a captain in this type of games, and in Ancient and Immortal uh, games, usually there is somebody who can talk and who can make the calls. Yeah. And that's a really, that's a really another, like, huge part of the Lycan. You, you are not strong alone. Usually you are strong with your team. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. It's yeah. like a team hero. Sure, sure. Okay, fine. So then, finally, um, tell, tell us how, what your advice is to somebody who is more in the lower skill brackets or even higher skill brackets to us on how they can uh, you know improve or overcome the challenges associated with the weaknesses we just talked about okay so the first thing that everybody should do on any hero not only on like and if they want to improve mm. is to watch a replace of better players than them like if you go on into the watch page yeah. uh, and you see one guy that is playing Lycan in one immortal game yeah. You can go watch that game, and after that, you can download the replay and watch it as many times as you need to yeah. to learn from it. Yeah. So this would be the first stuff that you should do as on every hero, not necessarily on Lycan. Yeah. Then, if you want to improve to the when it comes to the part of the micro skills, yeah, uh, you can I you can go and check the video that we talked about hotkeys, where I said that I control all my units with control. Yeah. And when I have to pick a certain unit, I go with tab and I just use that unit. This is like probably the easiest way to control your units when it comes to micro skills. Yeah. And when it comes to team communication, all you can do is to go buy a microphone, plug your microphone into the computer, go to the settings and set a button to talk with your teammates. And you should start doing that if you want to improve. Yeah. It's really important, especially in lower in lower skill games, to try to communicate with your team and try to make calls, even if the calls are not right. Like, you, you can make right calls from the start. Nobody did. Everybody is learning. Like, yeah. just try to do something, because if you're not going to do anything, it's not going to change for sure. But yeah. step by step, at, at the time, you're going to improve. Yeah. That would be my advice. Sure. Sure, no, that's, that's that's really great actually. So uh, also, as uh, if I'd like to put in a little caveat there with the uh, with the communication things, please everybody be friendly and polite. And if you're having trouble with someone, mute them. Whatever you do, don't flame yeah. someone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I mean, uh, that's what I'm doing as well. If I see that I, I'm trying to communicate with somebody and he doesn't want to understand or refuses to be like uh, a nice guy, I usually mute them. Like yeah. that's the easiest way. You just solve the problem instantly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And ideally, you wouldn't mute your teammates because you want to communicate with them. But but sometimes you've got to in order to have a successful I mean, game. <laughs> every, I mean. Everybody can be toxic at a certain time. I can be toxic yeah. as well at a certain time. Maybe I have a bad day. Yes, well, even know. I can admit that uh, sometimes I, uh, I can be a little bit uh, prickly. Thank you, Primate, for, for uh, sharing your pearls of wisdom with us. And uh, for everyone watching the stream, as always, uh, hit the like, subscribe, share, and notification bell button. But also do check in the description for links to Primate's Twitch and YouTube channel. Uh, and check him out for more of his stuff and you can watch him play some high skill lycan as well and see how it's done. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.